Hello. Uh, first off, I want to apologize for missing last week's vlog. My boyfriend graduated from law school last Sunday, and uh, the weekend was completely out of hand, and all of a sudden it was Monday morning and I had to go back to work, and I was like, this is not going to get done. Um, this week, we are talking about books that we would love to see made into a movie or TV show. Um, so aside, of course, from all of our books, because wouldn't we choose them first. So my choice is actually going to be Jamaica Inn by Daphne du Maurier. Um, Daphne du Maurier is one of my favorite writers. Uh, she wrote gothic horror, psychological horror, uh, in a way that was way ahead of her time for the early part of the 20th century. Jamaica Inn is actually an historic romance. It is set in the middle of the 18th century on the coast of du Maurier's beloved Cornwall. And it is the story of Mary Yellen whose mother dies and it's her mother's dying wish that she go and live with her aunt who lives at Jamaica Inn on the storm-battled coast of Cornwall with her husband. Um, and the opening scene is Mary on a coach in the middle of the night, in the middle of a still dark and stormy night, and um, the coachman tries to convince her not to get off at Jamaica Inn. He says it's a dangerous place full of dangerous people. Um, but Mary's a spunky youth and, and goes anyway. And what she discovers is that her aunt lives in terror of her husband, Uncle Joss, um, who's a abusive alcoholic. Um, and more than that, Uncle Joss leads a group of wreckers. And what the wreckers did in the 18th century and before and beyond, actually, would be to lure ships to a dangerous shore in a storm. They would go out with lights to make it look like a town or a lighthouse guiding them to safety. The ship would wreck on the rocks. Um, they would murder any survivors who managed to make it onto the beach. And then they would loot um, anything that washed ashore and the boat if they could get to it. Pretty horrible. Um, once Mary figures out what's going on, uh, she takes it upon herself to uh, break up this group, to bring the authorities in, to catch them red-handed. Um, but this is complicated by the fact that she is falling in love with her Uncle Joss's dashing younger brother, Jem, who is in fact truly outrageous. I love all five of you who just got that reference. Anyway, um, Jem, while not a murderous wrecker, is not exactly law-abiding, <laughs> um, sort of a petty thief in his own way, um, but she's definitely torn between her growing affections for Jem and her desperate need to end the midnight doings of her uncle. Um, I won't tell you the rest, because that would ruin it if I haven't ruined it already. Um, there is actually a movie of Jamaica Inn. Uh, Hitchcock did a version in the late 30s, I believe, starring Maureen O'Hara. Uh, funnily enough, Alfred Hitchcock, who influenced so much of my own storytelling, uh, we had a similar taste in books because in addition to Jamaica Inn, he did a movie adaptation of one of my favorite books of all time, which is The 39 Steps by John Buchan. The problem with both of these is that as movies, they're great, but if you've read the book, he takes massive Hollywood artistic license with the story in both cases to the point where after the initial setup and sort of character names, there's not a whole lot of the original book left. Um, I would love to see a faithful adaptation of the book. I think it translates very well to screen. You don't really need to do much to it. Um, the tension is screwed to a fine point when you finally find out everything that's going on. Um, plus, you have this gorgeous, romantic, lush countryside backdrop, and you have this sort of drippingly gothic love story, and um, I think it would go really well, Hollywood, if you're listening, which you're not. Um, casting? I think Alfred Molina would actually play a very good sort of big brooding alcoholic brute. 
Um, for the heroine, Mary Yellen, I was thinking of Jessica Brown Finley, who plays Lady Sybil in Downton Abbey. And as the dashing and impish gem, I think we should go with Henry Cavill from The Tudors. Anyway, that's it for me this week. I can't wait to see what everybody else has, and I'll be back next week.